All right, hello. My name is uh, my name is Reza. Um, so I'm a sophomore at UVA. Um, I'm majoring in computer science. Um, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Miracle. I'm a sophomore at Northeastern University. I'm studying finance with a minor in computer science. Oh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the first question is, how did you how did you decide on Northeastern? Yeah. So I was really attracted to Northeastern for a lot of different reasons. I would say the top one was definitely their entrepreneurship sort of ecosystem that they have here. Okay. Um, it's really, really welcoming and robust. And I was really attracted to the different people that I met when I first got on campus and was talking to them about the different programs. And that really helped with my decision to come to Northeastern. Also, they had like a really good business and comp site program. So yeah, that helped. And have you always wanted to do like entrepreneurship and computer science stuff? No, actually, when I was little, I wanted to be a doctor, but um, oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I went to a program that I learned about entrepreneurship and then my plans just changed. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Where are you from originally? I'm from Delaware. Del okay. I'm from, I'm from Virginia. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I'm from Northern. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, can you explain uh, what the Northeastern co-op uh, program is? Yeah, um, sure. sort of like how it works. Um, uh -huh. Have you had like yeah. an internship or anything like that? Of course. So the co-op program is six months long usually, and people can get it extended if they want to, like, or if the employer allows for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically through the co-op program, the whole premise of it is for experiential learning. And the idea is to help students learn beyond just being in the classroom and actually having the real world, like hands-on experience in a workforce. Mm -hmm. So our workplace rather. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like the purpose of the co-op program and each person, okay. they have like a cycle that they go on for their co-op and like, depending on what you're studying, your co-op might vary in the time frame and also like the responsibilities too. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, and I'm assuming there's like a career center or like something along the lines of that, you know, mm -hmm. help with resumes and advice, uh, that yeah. sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have one. Mm -hmm. Dope. Um, have you used it at all? Do you think it's been helpful? Yeah, actually, it's been really helpful to me. I go there to do like interview prep and like resume reviews. Mm -hmm. It's a really good resource. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, have you had an internship? So I did a program last summer at Morgan Stanley. Um, oh, wow. A mini internship. For that's, so, that's so dope. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's a big name, yeah. Yeah, it was it was a really good learning experience. Um, and so I'm actually applying to co-ops this semester, and that program really helped me with kind of figuring out where I want to go with my internship or with my co-op. So it was really helpful. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, and so you're an entrepreneur, right? Yes. Um, have you had any ventures yet? Can you tell me a little bit about, you know, your side gigs or if you have any of that? Yeah, sure. So in high school, I started a company called Opportunity, and the whole point was to help high school students find different summer programs at various colleges and different companies. So that experience really helped me to like gain different skills, like team building and also public speaking and problem solving. So yeah, it was just a really and you you did it in high school. <laughs> yeah, in high school. Yeah. <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Um. Okay, and it says you wrote a book, right? Um, yes. How to lead and live with impact, uh, or purpose? How to leave with uh, how to lead and live with impact, right? Um, so, what what sort of uh, led you to decide to write this book? Um, mm -hmm. You know, what inspired you? Yeah. So, um, as a young person myself, like I was talking with the other a lot of other people, and the common thing that a lot of people were struggling with was figuring out what they want to do with their lives and like what's their purpose, where should they go in life. And so, I decided to talk to different people that I look up to, people that I consider my role models, and like gain their insights for how they live a life with purpose and how they're either working with purpose or building a company with like a purpose driven lens. So that's kind of why I wrote the book to sort of share with other people how to live their lives with more purpose and yeah that's awesome mm -hmm. that's so cool Thanks. um yeah you were you were asked to speak last year at like asu right yes um okay. San Diego. Mm -hmm. so how did how did that go um yeah like tell me a little bit about that <laughs> the conference like what the conference was like yeah what was the conference like what do you speak about you know uh -huh. do you have like any other speaking engagements lined up for this year yeah, sure. So I thought the conference was a lot of fun. 
uh, it was my first time going to an education conference. So I got to meet a lot of different people doing a lot of amazing work. So ASU GSV. So I was there earlier this year okay. and it was a really big education conference. I got to meet a lot of different people. Um, education is really big actually like it's beyond just like teachers and principals like I was meeting ed tech entrepreneurs investors all different types of people there and wow. it was a really great experience and the way I found out about it was through an organization called Thomas and what they're trying to do is to help more young people get access to career opportunities and so they had to speak on their panel on getting young people um, ready to succeed in the workforce. What was the organization called? America's Promise. America's Promise. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Well, I've never heard about that before. That's so cool. Mm. Um, so what's, what's, what's your biggest piece of advice, uh, would you say, um, to high school students, you know, who are like mm. going out there, like looking for their purpose? Yeah. Um, I would say it's okay to have a plan, but also keep an open mind. So I mentioned that I wanted to be a doctor, like most right. of my life, especially going to high school. I was like, okay, I'm going to get into like really good medical school and this is my plan. I want to have this and have that. But um, it's really good to have an open mind and see like, okay, what are the other opportunities out there? Um, what are other like career paths that are out there for me to pursue? And just, yeah, be open-minded about different things. Right. Yeah. World. Yeah. That mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got for you. Okay. Um, what do you think? Here, I got I got one more for you. Okay. What do you What do you think has been the most defining moment um, in terms of like your experience as an entrepreneurship student? Mm -hmm. Like, what led you to like be like, okay, like that's that's what I want. Mm -hmm. um, the defining moment. I would say uh, that you don't have to have one. I don't have one. <laughs> okay. I, I would say there's like an experience that I had that really pushed me or like inspired me to go into entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. um, it was through a program called the Diamond Challenge. Are you familiar with it? The Diamond Challenge? No. Yeah. Talk about it so it's like, you never heard of it? Okay. Uh, so it's a global entrepreneurship competition and they're focused on high school students. And so I participated when I was a junior and it was through that program that I was able to learn about entrepreneurship and the different opportunities within that. Yeah. Cool. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, thank you for uh, <laughs> swinging by. Um, yeah, no problem. You know, thank you for joining our student series mm -hmm. and um, for more, um, please visit qcareer.com. Um, you know, thanks for having me and good luck. Thanks for having me. Take care.